Hello everyone, this is Upamani. Welcome to screencast number 11. In this screencast, I'm going to show you real quick how you can create radio buttons and checkboxes in a very very modernized manner. So you must have got bored of the look of the old radio boxes, radio buttons and checkboxes. So I'll show you real quick how you can modernize them, how you can create a new look of the radio buttons and checkboxes, fully customizable with CSS3. So let's get started and real quick let's create a folder called CR that stands for checkboxes and radio buttons and I'll just drop it into my code editor of my choice that's Coda and I'll create index.html yeah okay let's start with a basic HTML format okay so I'll just give the title CR let's real quick as a style sheet link style sheet that's it and type text CSS and let's say href is CSS which will create in a moment and media is screen okay let's see that's all we need in the head section now let's go ahead to the body section okay let's uh, create a new div I'll give it an ID of uh, maybe show okay this will be in div okay let's real quick create the contents of the div so that will be first h1 that's uh, called CSS3 boxes and radio buttons so that's real quick let's close that uh, I prefer not to use this and because it will consider is that some kind of a logical statement but let's give a break after this okay uh, next up I'll just give an input input type I'll say it's a checkbox ID is uh, C1 that stands for checkbox one name I say CC that means checkbox or something like that whatever you imagine okay let's say next in this only label for this is a label for the checkbox C1 and I'll just close that and say span and I'll just close that span and I'll close uh, say I say that uh, check box one I'll just close the label that's it a new paragraph I'll start something uh, really interesting I'll copy this whole thing and I'll paste this whole thing just change the numbers from C1 to C2 and I'll say checkbox 2 okay that's it next we will go ahead and create the in a new paragraph we'll go ahead and create the radio buttons so same thing but with different names and all those things I'll just copy this I'll say checkbox no checkbox we want a radio button uh, I want R1 first of all I want R1 I want not this I want Ray RR um, you can assume anything RR as radio box one or something like that I'll say radio button sorry I'm always mistaking that radio button that's it uh, just copy it once again and I'll say a paragraph sorry paragraph and I'll paste that I'll say this is R2 this is for R2 and this is uh, this should be R1 R21 why I'm making these mistakes okay next thing is we'll start ahead with our CSS thing so this is all that's all if I preview this now you'll see a real simple checkbox and two checkboxes and two radio buttons ah uh, yeah 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the custom look. That's the old school look. Now we'll start customizing it. So new file, I'll call it style.css and we'll open that. Yeah, I'm going to open that. Okay, first let's style the HTML part. Whatever comes under the HTML tag will be styled in this section. Uh, we'll say height is 100%. No scaling, no not resizing, everything will be will remain in its normal size. Next we style the body, whatever comes under the body tag. Not body, that's body. Whatever comes under the body tag, we'll style those things. Position relative. That means as the media size gets smaller, everything will condense. And as it gets larger, everything will expand. So that's relative. Background uh, color, I have chosen it as F2, F2, F2. Not F1, F2, F2. F2. That's a real nice uh, white color. So, height 100%. Padding, whatever padding we get, it will be zero in all sides. We have margin, that will be zero again in all sides. So, now we'll study the main thing. That is the div that we have named show. You must remember that. This is the div that we had named show. So we'll style that. Let's go ahead and first thing we'll do is width. This will just read a canvas type of thing in the middle of the screen. So that's why we're specifying, specifying the width and the height. Width is 280 pixels. We get height as 200 pixels. Uh, next thing we get padding of 20 pixels all around uh, position we have absolute no moving no resizing left from the left we have 50% size uh, where is the percentage? yeah and uh, we have margin left that's we'll say minus 120 pixels 120 pixels from the left and we'll say top we have again 50% and we'll say margin top again 160 pixels minus 160 pixels okay so let's go ahead and create give it and give it a background maybe background I'll give it as four zero four six or B that's a real grayish blue color it's a blue color with a it's a gray color with a slightly blue tinge okay that's it border radius this is a uh, I think this is not uh, at all there but border radius ah uh, yeah border radius where is it gone border no radius this is a new thing this, that's introduced in CSS3 we give it a six pixels okay that's all let's save this and let's have a look at index.html see okay it's now like this it'll soon get corrected okay let's now style the h1 element so I say font size I'll put that's 14 pixels I'll say color again the same whitish color f2 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 what's the color yeah white f3 f3 red 3 will do i guess uh text align i want to align the text in the center whatever happens it should remain in the center margin i want to give it a zero zero and 20 pixels So that's zero, zero, twenty, and zero. That's understood. If I don't put the zero to, then it's all right. So top we have zero, right we have zero. From the bottom, bottom we have twenty pixels, and from the left we have zero pixels again. So that's the margin. Then we have padding. Padding will give zero all over that's zero yeah 
okay all over zero and font family I'll give Arial that's my favorite one let's just say this and have a look at our document yeah see everything fits now okay that's nice next up I'll just style this here comes the most important part I'll style the radio box and radio buttons and checkbox now so first start with the checkbox I'll say input style everything under the input element but but with a special type of condition that condition is type equals in the double quotes checkbox in double quotes again so you'll style the input element but only if the type is equal to checkbox so let's go ahead and start the first thing display none what that means is let's just have a look see the checkboxes are gone what that means is nothing you have to display nothing the checkboxes should be gone so that's what we want we want to replace it with our custom checkboxes so let's download our sprite sheet it's available on upamanu.in slash extras slash uh, check underscore radio dot png so that should do the work yeah I'll just save this as something same similar check radio dot png and I'll go to uh, where is my desktop yeah desktop projects cr and inside that I'll save it as like so okay let's go ahead and gain say the same thing I'll just copy this I'll say okay again style the input element with the checkbox type but this time add the label inside its styling area okay I'll say color again that same color f2 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 that's white okay next thing I'll say font family I'll say sans uh, Arial first and then followed by sans serif F okay font size I'll again say 14 pixels I love 14 pixels font size let's just check this out see everything is perfectly working as we expect it to work okay that's nice again I'll paste that and this time I'll include the label but if you remember correctly I had included a span here let's look at the code yeah I had included a span here for nothing just empty span here so we'll use that now that's right label span include the span too this time in your area so this comes here comes the most important part actually display I'll say inline block in the block okay with in line with the text okay that's right with 19 pixels I'm not getting out of my head these values the sprite we have is of the width 19 pixels and height also 19 pixels okay margin we will give it as uh, not so quite all right I'll say minus one minus one and then I'll say four pixels then zero then zero okay let's see this is not auto this is minus one pixels that I need this coda sometimes interprets something badly then vertical align middle vertically it will be lined in the middle this is simple language all can understand so background now comes the most important part background background we need an image so I'll say URL and I'll specify the image so that's radio dot PNG okay that's it start from the left top and do not repeat okay that's nice 
and cursor. That's not the correct spelling. Cursor. Uh, change it to a pointer, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Let's save this and have a look at our document. See? We have already created our sprite. So that means we have created the inactive state currently. We have to create the active state too. This is the inactive state. We have to create the active state too. So what we'll do is very simple. We'll just copy it again. And this time we'll say that we'll put a special condition. We'll say checked. It'll check that whether the button is inactive, the checkbox is inactive or active. If it is inactive, it will apply these styles. And if it is active, then it will apply these styles. So that's something interesting. Yeah. I'll copy this part only because after this something's different. Minus 19 pixels it will start because it's after 19 pixels from the beginning uh, top and now repeat so here you will see real magic okay let's check it let's check it you'll see real magic yeah so we have checkbox one checkbox two that's fun the same thing we have to repeat actually the same thing for the radio button two so I'll just copy this 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 whole block of code and just paste it. I'll say radio here and radio there. Let's just have a quick look whether it is working or not. Okay, it's working just as we wish it to work. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do. Uh, I'm just copying this code block and. Uh, I'll change this again to radio and label span that's all right I'll say inline block this is 19 pixels this is 19 pixels this is the same this will remain same again this will remain same but this will not remain same it will start from minus 38 pixels that's 13 19 multiplied by 2 and that's 38 after 38 pixels it will start with the reading of the image so this will really amuse you okay okay that's nice i'll just copy this block of code too and i just have to change everything inside it i'll change it to no 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 not this not this not this not this this is the block of code that we need i'll say radio and everything is all right but here we have to change it to 57 pixels that's uh, that's not something uh, that's very complex but it's 38 plus 19 gives us 57 so here it is we have the radio button too so this is it hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial so you can do a lot more with CSS3 and it's just a beginning so this is Boomer New you're watching screencast number 11 thank you